Welcome back. The kids are home and teachers are trying to make sure students don't fall behind. That's the reason why here at 13 Action News we are committed to our 13 Connects community. The initiative called Super Summer Rise. Now we're focusing on our children's education and development as they stay home during the pandemic and also into the summer months. CCSD is making a huge effort to feed the children so they won't go hungry during the pandemic. And so far, CCSD has passed out more than 1.1 million meals to students in just a little more than a month. That's an average of more than 60,000 every single day. But for many families, just getting to those distribution slides to pick up the meals can be really challenging. In today's Super Summarized story, 13 Action News anchor Jackie Kostek looks at the ways other organizations are helping bridge the gap. It's been challenging. It's been challenging. Yvonne Perez was laid off from her casino job on March 16th, the same day CCSD schools were closed. It's been rough with trying to stay afloat and not worry about bills being paid. How can you not? Perez has an unemployment claim pending, but has yet to receive money. As the foster mother of two young children, she says she's relying solely on the thousand dollars a month she gets from the foster care system, food stamps and food programs like the one offered by CCSD. We've been coming to get the lunches for the kids in the morning, which has been a really big help. It's been it's really helped us a lot as far as making our food stretch. And although Perez says she'd like to access other community food programs, like the drive through option offered by Three Square, she says the lines have been too long to justify the gas money. My check engine light is on, so I'm not trying to break my car just to stand in a line for two hours for a box of food. Is a box of food worth the cost of gas it takes to wait in line or of risking needing car repairs sooner? These are the kinds of daily challenges families across Southern Nevada face every single day. Our families were struggling before and now all of that's just exasperated. Tammy Hanslayer is the CEO of Communities in Schools Nevada. She says the nonprofit is currently working with around 100 agencies to eliminate barriers and keep families fed during this pandemic and beyond. We've been doing some home deliveries, so our site coordinators will literally put the bags in their cars and take them on over to the kids' homes and do that. Hans Lair says CCSD principals are helping identify families most in need of help. Any principal that has identified a family that is at high risk, is not being served by another um, social service organization, um, and, um, and can't leave their home, doesn't have somebody shopping for them, um, CIS is going to be the nonprofit that's going to facilitate that and work with those families and get them into delivering with dignity. Hans Lair says while CES is working to meet the immediate needs of students and families, she worries about the long term effect school closures will have on kids. Our, our kids are dealing with adult size problems that um, they shouldn't have to deal with. So we're just doing everything we can to make sure we can eliminate, you know, whatever barrier that might be. Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News. Now we also reached out to RTC to see whether buses could potentially be used to help CCSD reach more families. The spokesperson said while that is not happening now, the agency is always evaluating how it can help the community. We have more information on this story and others at ktmv.com slash 13 connects slash summer rise. 13 connects super summer rise is sponsored by America First Credit Union and Subaru of Las Vegas.